telling you a wave's heavy, he tells you a story about a heavy wave, you're like, it must be pretty freaking heavy. You go surf with him on a big day anywhere and you know, he'll be taking the deepest waves, like silly waves that you know you can't make, but he'll just do it, you know, just for something to do. He's a crazy guy. I mean, I was in WA just a week ago and he was there, you know, right before this event, charging and trying to find the biggest waves he could. The best feeling you can get from surfing for me is, you know, riding a wave that, that could kill you and coming out of it unscathed. It's like the ultimate rush. Growing up, I was never sort of surfed big waves. I, I hated it when I was real young. I, was, I actually got really scared of it. I moved close to a bunch of guys like Kobe Avenon and you know, all the rest of the bra boys that were just always into charging waves. And I started traveling with them all the time. The motto of the older boys was like, if you don't take off and you don't charge, you're gonna have to walk home. That sort of pushed me into taking the sets at that time. I don't think I'd have the career that I'd have now if I didn't grow up in that area.